October 31st, 1517, Martin Luther nailed his 95 Thesis to a church door. Luther's intention was to cause the church to pause and reflect and think about the very way they were doing ministry. You see, the church back then had a complicated system of ministry, which included things like pittance, things like indulgences where people would uh, pay money to get their, their loved ones out of purgatory. It was a question that Luther was posing, challenging the church that if, if this is the ability of the church to let people out of purgatory, why don't we do that because of love and kindness to those souls? Eventually, in time, new churches would be formed as the established Roman Catholic Church would kick out these men that believed these Reformed or Protestant doctrines. This week, uh, for we're going to have several videos on this YouTube channel remembering and celebrating the Protestant Reformation. And in order to do that, we're going to use as an illustration my wife's van. You can see that it's a E350, 12 passenger, V8 engine. A couple of weeks ago, she went to visit her mom and grandma in Lakeland, and when she came home, the engine light was on, and the van was shaking. After some investigation, we discovered that one of the eight cylinders was not firing, and if not corrected, this would have been ruinous for the vehicle. After Taking it apart not once, but twice, I discovered the problem. The problem was a faulty spark plug coil. You may not be familiar what that is, but the very basics of a combustion engine is that you have an explosion that drives the cylinder up and down, and that turns uh, the engine and that makes it go, very simply put. And in order to have that explosion, you really need three things. You need a spark, which comes from the spark plug, you need the gas in the right proportion, and then you need air. You need oxygen to make an explosion. Well, the spark plug coil really sets the timing for the whole thing. It tells the, the spark when to spark. Now, that's maybe an oversimplification, and if you're a mechanic and you don't agree with that, let's just go with it. I want to compare that spark plug coil to the grace of God. When we think about the engine of the church, the engine of Christian ministry, or the engine of the Christian life, the foundational beginning point is really the grace of God. So that the Reformation gave us the solas, uh, which are a number of things of the Bible alone, faith alone, grace alone, Christ alone, the glory of God alone. Well, the grace of God alone says that the work of the ministry, the salvation of people, is dependent upon God's grace. That you can have the, the, all the, the elements of the church. You can have uh, the, the preaching of the word. You can have the administration of the sacraments. You can have prayer. But if you have not the grace of God, you've got nothing. The Reformation restored not the human efforts, not the trappings of the church, but the grace of God as the thing which propels the church forward. In John chapter 1, verses 12 and 13, we read the following. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, which were born not of blood, nor of the will of flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. You see, salvation... And effectiveness in Christian ministry doesn't have to do with the family that you were born into. It doesn't have to do with your own efforts or even the efforts of other men. It has to do with the grace of God. All that we do as the church, all that we do as uh, individuals, it's all about the grace of God. And so we, we thank God for His grace. We're amazed at His grace. We're humbled by His grace. And in everything, we need the grace of God. Tomorrow on this channel will be Coffee with Dr. Blizzard. We'll come back on Wednesday with our next Reformation thought, this time thinking about the Bible and comparing that to the gas that drives our cars forward.